guys back today with a project share. This is for a project that I joined over at Creating the Crafty Life and this was for an inspirational um, tag mini swap. I don't know it doesn't look like tags um, but this is what I created for my partner Fred and um, I had so much fun with this. So what you see in front of you is an armoire and um, I've modified it a little bit. It is a cut that I purchased off Etsy. Um, this seller actually has the silhouette, the SVG, and the PNG file, and or no, the hand cut file. So um, I will try and remember to link down below. If I forget and you guys want to know where I got this, go ahead and just message me um, or comment and I will make sure that I update the links. So I did modify it just a little bit uh, just because I wanted to and that's just kind of how um, I thought it looked good. So I just used some paper. It's just uh, wood grain paper that I got at Michael's and it's really thin so I had to be really careful when I was uh, cutting it and gluing it. Mostly gluing it because you know really thin paper when you use wet glue it does that um, that warping and so I had to be really careful with that and I actually had to redo a couple of pieces because of that. So I um, created this and I used a couple of hinges and these are from these aren't spare parts. These are from Hobby Lobby and hang on. The brand is Woodpile Fun and I have, um, I just had to look at the, the if these aren't the same, but um, had to look at the, um, you know, the packaging because it's the same. So um, the hinges are from there and then these handles are also from there as well. Um, so that's it. And in because I used my silhouette, I um, cut this out several times and then just stacked several thicknesses of 80 pound black cardstock. And so there's that. Um, I just have to put my information on the back of it, um, but I'm going to put my information back there. So on the top, I just used a bunch of different flowers from my stash and um, just there's some little sweetheart blossoms. There are some cherry blossoms, um, some magnolias, some roses of just all different sizes and colors. And then I put a little um, cameo right there. Now my partner Fred, um, she said that her favorite, or she really liked green and yellow. And so that's the color palette that I went with. But I just thought that all of those kind of greens and um, yellows just kind of were really pretty. On the front, this is a little wood piece uh, from Saw Crafters, and I don't know if she has these anymore, um, but it's, uh, I painted the front with some Prima paint, and it's just a shimmer kind of green gold, and I filled it in with some glossy accents, and then just added some more flowers right there. So on the inside of it, so it opens up like this, and you guys can see there's some, um, this pattern paper is from a printable that I purchased um, on Etsy, and I will try and remember to link that down below. But I lined the entire inside piece um, with it. This is a little mirror that I got at Michael's, and it's in the, um, you know, the, the little miniature area, little fairies. And then these are my tags. So these are the six tags that I did. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand them up. I'm gonna stand this up off to the side and I'm gonna take them out and um, show you guys individually. So I'm gonna zoom in. And um, so what I created is um, the little tags. And so the, the there's little tiny paper or um, clothespins, but the, um, the hangers are actually uh, just some paper clips uh, from the planner section at Tuesday morning and I just made them into hangers. Super, super easy. So this is a tag that I uh, had on my silhouette and so I just cut it out of some uh, cardstock and then matted both sides with pattern paper. And again, this is the same pattern paper printable, say that three times fast, that I used to mat the inside of the armoire itself. 
or the wardrobe, whatever you want to call it. So on the inside, um, I, or on the inside. So this is, um, I just used some die cuts and, um, they are from Ella Tina dies. And I just thought it was really pretty. What I did is I had uh, some shimmer paper and I used the Close to My Heart color fern and I just inked it and then I die cut it and then I put some pearls around. This is the natural color of the shimmer paper. This little wood piece is another piece from Saw Crafters and I just painted it with the goldish uh, green color just to give it... Um, a little more cohesive look. Some flowers from my stash. There is some trim in the background. And then this image is an image that I got from my friend Jacqueline. And um, it's they're so pretty. I put uh, these images, or different images on each of them. And then this is a Spellbinders die that I did and some green cardstock. And everything is like inked in the Close to My Heart fern color. And then there's a little doily back there that I inked with the green color as well. Little um, clock face and hands from Tim Holtz and then just a little metal filigree right behind that. And I put all my quotes on the back. So um, there are, I just added some flowers, um, some more filigrees and then I corner punched these and then I printed it on that shimmer paper and um, I, uh, I got these from, it's a site, it's a free printable, and it's called skiptomylou.org. And again, I'll try and remember to link that down below. Um, but um, I just thought, I just picked six quotes that I thought were kind of inspirational. And I thought that they were just really pretty. So this is that first one. Okay. Here is the second. And... Um, so they're all kind of similar layouts and um, yeah, this is another saw crafter piece and this is special. And again, I just painted it and filled it with glossy accents. There are, um, these are three little clay roses that um, my friend Christy makes for me and then some trim and the trim I actually dyed using the, um, the same ink that I inked everything in another little image and then I added two little tags with some uh, green ribbon and a couple of those antique kind of pearls but I just thought that that pop of green was really pretty there and then on the back is just another quote and it's I just thought this one was really good about um, just saying hey get started you don't have to be great but just start Okay. All right. Um, this one, again, same thing. And I used all of the same dies um, going through and putting these in another little uh, wood piece. And then these are some little mini. Um, oh, my gosh. These are some little mini uh, clay pieces that, again, my friend Christy made. A um, couple little of the antique pearls. And then... Um, just some more trim and this trim is one that I dyed using one of my Tattered Angel sprays and I just thought it was so pretty. Some flowers from my stash and that little girl she's just adorable. A couple little tags here using the pattern paper and then some of the shimmer paper just um, for you know journaling or a picture and then this uh, little Chinese braid and then little sweetheart blossoms. <clears throat> excuse me on the back um, just another quote some more flowers and um, I love this one it says when writing the story of your life don't let anyone else hold the pen and that's actually from Harley Davidson and I just thought that that was really good um, so there's that one. Oh, and I forgot so I created these little seam binding bows and then just put a little rose on the back to just kind of cover up the ugly part of the hanger um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the seam binding was white and I dyed it with um, uh, Close to My Heart reinker. It's a yellow one and I want to say that it's saffron, but don't quote me on that. But I just thought little pops of yellow. Okay. And some 
some of these come out a little easier than others. Alright, this one, um, I used some really wide trim and created a pocket. Here's another one of those Saw Crafters wood pieces uh, that I added um, the glossy accents to the center. Some Sweetheart Blooms. And then this is another little clay piece that my friend Christy makes me. And she just does a wonderful job. And with this one, I just painted the, the bodice part in that same green color that I've painted all the other stuff. And if you look at it... It looks similar, but it's slightly different because I paint, this is obviously a white background and then this is a brown background, so it's slightly different. And then I added two little tags here for journaling or tuck pieces or whatever she would like to do with those, if she'd like to do anything with those. Okay. And then the back again, just my other quote. Um, I just thought, I just love it. I love the way these all turned out. I'm just very, very happy with this whole thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Um, so this one, another little image, and this is a different corset, uh, than the other one. So you can see it's a different style and I just left it in the natural color. Another little wood piece. This one says precious. And then I have a little bird's nest right here. Some more. Uh, this is a, just a different wide trim that I used um, to make a pocket out of. And I dyed this, is, this yellow as well. Some more flowers for my stash. And then um, just two more little tuck pieces, two little tags that just tuck behind the image. And then in the back, here's my little quote. And I just thought that this one, I love this one too. It says, why do we close our eyes when we pray, cry, dream, or kiss? Because we know the most beautiful things in life are not seen but felt by the heart. And I just thought that that was so super sweet. Um, and that's by Ann Sullivan. So it's just the very, you know, it's all the same layouts on the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then here is the final one. Um, and then this one says bliss and um, it's a little bit darker because I sprayed it um, as well. And it's got a little shimmer to it even behind there. It's um, but then filled it with glossy accents. More flowers from my stash. And then this one I created a little pocket out of some more trim. And then this image, it gets kind of covered up a little bit um, by the tags, but it's it's a very pretty image as well. And then I have some of these really soft cherry blossoms and then some leaves down at the bottom. And then here's that. Okay. And then on the back is just another one of the quotes. And this one I thought was pretty spot on. Um, it says almost everything will work again if you unplug it for a few minutes, including you. And I thought that that was just a really good way to remember to just unplug and just relax and reset. Uh, I thought that was, you know, we're always so busy, busy, busy. Um, but I thought it was so pretty. I, I, or I thought it was perfect and it went with this really well. So there are my six tags. Okay. There we go. Move it just a little bit. Okay. So there are all six tags and the pretty little armoire that goes in it. And I'm very happy with the way that it came out. I will remember to link uh, Fred's channel down below if she does have one. And then I will also remember to link the mini that I got from her down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.